Hi everybody, Crafting Journey here, that journey chick on Instagram. Check me out on Instagram. Hey, if you're new to my channel or you're watching this for the first time, please consider subscribing. Um, hit the like button and then say sincerely that you're sorry and take it out for dinner. Also, ring the notification bell when you want to know when I have another video posted because I post Monday through Friday, Crafting and Crime, Tales About Live Trials. Criminal trials. All right, I have another diamond art club. I thought for a change you might like to see what it comes in. It comes in this uh, outer box, which is branded. So I did not order a new one yesterday. Today's Sunday. I'm filming in my PJs, but I do have a bra on. Yes. Um, <laughs> I didn't order any yesterday, but last week I got a direct message from Diamond Art Club. They're like, oh, we've restocked some some of your favorites. I'm like, oh, no, you did not. So I said, well, let me go see what they have restocked. And when I saw this, I thought, oh, can I pass this up again? I passed it up the first time. I don't think I can pass it up a second time. Um, next year I will be doing the year of landscapes. This year I'm doing the year of Alice. So you'll see me doing a lot of Alice in Wonderland paintings. And next year I'm going to be doing a lot of landscapes. So I have another landscape to choose from. And what's in here? The shipping label. So guys, there are three ways that you can sh save on a future purchase of your Diamond Art Club. You can look at the shipping label. It will give you 15% off your next order. Then there's a couple of other ways. There's a code on the side of the box, a, a bar code. If you scan that, you can get 10% off your next purchase. And then inside later on, I'll tell you about one more way you can get 10% off your next purchase at Diamond Art Club. Oh, let's, we're probably going to need this for this. Now, I have gotten squares. I like squares in my paintings for the most part. I'll do a round occasionally, but this one is squares. Um, you can tell it's square because there's a square label on the front where it says DIY. Ah, oh, Diamond Art Kit Square Diamonds. They have such gorgeous packaging. They really do. Okay. So also on the box, let me get the cellophane off the box. And it's so well protected in that outer cardboard box that I've not ever gotten a diamond art club that's been damaged. All right, we'll get rid of that. Go into the recycling bin. Then I will show you on the back, there are steps to diamond painting and then all of the contents of the box that you're getting. Yes. Very nice. Now, which way do I want to open this? Maybe from the top. How about that? I don't think it matters, really. <laughs> but, okay. All right, we've got our Diamond Art Club Toolkit. We've got the branded cover of the diamond painting that says, Diamond Art Club, do what makes you sparkle. That's it. That's all that's in the box. My garbage man must think, good Lord, she gets a lot of packages because <laughs> my recycling is always filled with a bunch of cardboard boxes. Yes. So you get this really nifty little label that I have lately been putting in my planner. So when I start, when I do start a project, I put it in my planner. So I, at the end of the year, I'll see which ones I've done. I think it's pretty cool. There's other ways you can make stickers if you if you don't get a little one from uh, the manufacturer of your diamond painting, but super cool. Now, I'm not a huge critic, cr critic, cricket person. I have a cricket. Um, someday I'll figure out how to use it. But in any case, we're just gonna take a real quick look at the toolkit very quickly, because I do not think that it has changed. All right, you get all of these baggies, dozens, quite a few. I use those at the end of a painting to store my extra drills, whatever's left. You get a pen with a squishy. You get two pieces of this nice heart wax. 
a boat with a funnel, a pair of sharp tweezers, which I need another pair. Of. I go through these quite a bit because the, the ends of the tweezers, after a while, one or the other side will start to bend. So, yeah. And best of all, I get a nice little four placer. Yeah, I do like my four placer. And that's really the, the only thing I save out of this whole thing. I save the wax too. The rest I do not save. Yeah. But thank you very much. Okay. Now let's get into the heart of the matter here. Look, it came off in one piece. It did not rip. Ah, wow. All right. We're not going to put it back in the bag either because that's too difficult. All right, you get this nice, very soft, feely canvas. It's called uh, a tourmaline. It's patented. You have the serrated edges. See? Serrated edges, so it prevents fraying. You've got the schematic that runs along the lower right and the upper left of your canvas. And there are the colors and three Aurora Borealis diamonds. Those are resin diamonds that have an iridescent coating on them. Oh, yes! Speaking of diamonds, here are the diamonds. Beautiful. And I see pink right away. I see pink. Oh, yep. I don't see the AB drills, but I'll find them later. Then you get this beautiful sticker sheet that has a picture of your canvas. It has an end date, a start date, the title of the canvas, which is called Wool Gathering. And this is by John Sloan. I don't know that I have any John Sloan paintings, but this one just called me. It's 71 centimeters by 56 centimeters. So it's longer than wider. You also get this wonderful little booklet. It is the step-by-step -step instructions to diamond painting with a thank you from the owner, Angie. Also inside, the steps to diamond painting, once again, in case you got rid of the box. Here is your third way to get a discount at Diamond Art Club. Another 10%. Now you can't use them all three at the same time, but you'll have them. If you lose one, you got the other. Don't forget, the shipping label, 15%. 10%, 15%. Yep. Okay. Also on this sticker sheet are the labels for your containers with the drills. And they are serrated as well, or, you know, just individualized. You can just actually peel them off one at a time. They're the only company, I think, that does that. To date, there may be other companies. Um, maybe Craftably does it too. I'm not sure. I don't remember the last Craftably I, I unboxed. Okay, so we are going to roll this backwards. Um, you can always roll your canvas with the glue out. If it's poured glue, you can roll it with the glue out. And it'll help to relax your canvas. And as you're doing the canvas, you can roll it with the drills outward. Yeah, if you don't have a lot of space, that's one way to do it. This one is gorgeous. Now this is the schematic that I was telling you about. This is in the upper left, or maybe it's the other way around. Upper left, lower right, lower right, upper left. I don't know, <laughs> but it's on both sides. So here it is here. And here is the canvas. Do you see why I love this canvas? Look how beautiful. It is another landscape. It's got all those sheep wool, wool to make yarn with, yes. And then it's got this girl wearing this absolutely stunning pink dress and her little straw hat. Some people say this is Anne of Green Gables. It could be, I suppose. But look at the flowers. She's got a basket of eggs that she set down. She was collecting them for her grandma. She's There's the chickens right there. She's fed the chickens. Now she's looking at the sheep. There's this big tall tree here. You see the farm off in the distance. Isn't that gorgeous? 
lots of pink flowers, this wonderful fence here. I love the eggs. Now, some of the ABs are in those eggs. <laughs> the eggs are what is AB. How cute is that? Um, it's a white AB, a 141, yeah. Then the white flowers are AB up here. Uh, one and two, one is a pink, two is a yellow. So you get a smattering of yellow flowers in here that are ABs. Over here too, there's some yellow floral detail that's in the Aurora Borealis. And then the pink detail is probably in the flowers as well, in the pink flowers. So in the eggs and in the flowers. Now, I'm gonna to wanna to do something with this dress, I think. Maybe, or maybe the maybe the barn too. You never know, I might wanna add some babies into the dress and the barn. Or, <laughs> and the beaks of the chicken, like these red beaks of the chicken. That'd be kinda of cute. But I love that they're in the eggs. That's really cute. I love all the detail of uh, the sheep, the browns and the whites. It's gorgeous, really gorgeous. I like this one, guys. There actually um, is a bee in the barn. The, yeah, the white detail of this barn back here is, is Aurora Borealis, the 141. Let's take a look at the drills, shall we? Now, you're getting all of these in one package. If you store your drills separately, the package is labeled with the name of the painting, which is Wool Gathering, and the skew number of the painting, which is also on the painting. Down in the corner, you have all of the information. Where, let me get it for you. <laughs> Down here, you'll get the size of the canvas, the name of the artist. This is all licensed artwork. You'll get, it's next to the thumbnail. Yep, there it is. Brr. Oh my goodness, it's a big one. Not as big as some of the other ones I have, but I just, I thought I cannot pass this up again. I just can't. Nope. All right, let's take a look. All right, that, that one just kind of fell out. Lots of greens, because we do have a lot of greenery here. We have a little bit of sky up here, which is blue. Oh, that is a pretty blue. 890. I haven't done a lot of 890. That's pretty. All right, let's take a look at some gorgeous drills. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's like a big spaghetti strap there. All right. One of your AB colors is this really pretty pink here, this pink. And then you have this really pretty yellow. And then the 141, the egg color is white, really pretty. Lots of pinks here, oh my goodness. 718-3607. That is like my absolute favorite DMC number ever. 3607-666. This pink AB is just stunning. This is the sky right here, this blue here that you're finding in the sky. I'm gonna be curious about get three bags of this 905 for the background. 890 for the greenery. Three bags of 33.71. And then two bags of 906, two bags of 907. Lots of green. There is not even a smattering of 310 in this painting. I love that. I will do a painting any day that has no 310 in it. I love that an artist just 
stayed away from the black. Yep. Now I'm seeing three ten, assemble for three ten. Where is the three ten? Hold on. It must not be really. It must not be much at all because did I completely toss it three ten? Unless that, the symbol that they use for 310 is right there. They're using, okay, the symbol that we usually see for 310, the black background with the white dot, is actually 3371. So there is no 310. I was correct. There's no 310 in this painting. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing. I will <laughs> carefully put all this away. And I will see you in my next video.